I don't know how to do this without my lover She looks good in a sundress, I look good on an album cover Did somebody say red wine all summer? Ain't got much in common with feds but struggle to do this without my stunner And she's hurting more than me but she'll cover that up with a hot girl summer And so she should, give me the planet I I want to look back at this in the future and be like fuck me Dom, I'm so proud of you for doing that Right then oh. Here is the big package of the blank t-shirts open them up and then these will be ready for DTG so we'll probably go to our printer sometime this week or next week and get our designs printed. I can't wait to show you. Yeah, three or four bottles of Magnum, drank them, now I want ice and cream. Fresh cream. Here is the white one, as you can see with the nice label, colour white, size medium, nice wrapping, nice bags, super custom high neckline, drop shoulder, and then we've got the vintage washed out black. Buzzing to print on these, can't wait to show you all. Trim and a plain white tee, I paid 24, eight times free. Right. I don't wanna talk, no face, no case, but his phone got prints and a face ID. Been cold, KID. Man of my biz like HOV. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi, hey, right? Come in. Sorry. That's right, come in, buddy. Cheers, thank you. Thanks. How you going, first day? Yeah, it's a really cool space. Um, also got this, like, right. private meeting space as well, like office. <laughs> Storage on top. I don't know how to do this without my lover. She looks good in a sundress, I look good on an album cover. Did somebody say red wine all summer? Ain't got much in common with feds, but struggle to do this without my stunner. And she's hurt. <laughs> Yeah, this is perfect. You lot don't understand how excited I am right now. Like I've got my heart set on that studio. It's always been a dream of mine when I first started this channel to have my own studio slash creative space. People like Casey Neistat, like his space in New York is just incredible. Looks like you get so many creative juices. It feels like you're going to work and it's just your own space. You can do whatever you want with it. And what's even better, that place was perfect. Like. The girl in there does vintage clothing too, and she does photography, she had her own studio and backdrop. She's even built her own office, so it'll save money on heating because you just heat up that little part so bills aren't too expensive. And what makes it even better is literally two weeks ago, I was too sad to put it in the vlog, is I actually applied and was bidding for another studio, which was only half the size of this one, in the same building, and I didn't win, even though I put the highest bid in. The landlord just chose the other like bidder, so I was really disappointed with that but then this one opened up, so it's kind of like a blessing in disguise. And this one's double the size. It's much more of a creative space. It's got more natural light, like the big windows. Actually gonna be so sick. Open 24 hours, can do so much stuff there. I'm honestly just so gassed. It's like the next chapter on this channel. I'll be able to film me like doing up the whole place, literally just shooting there, build my own studio. Honestly, there's so many possibilities. You can probably tell I'm so gassed. I'm literally screaming at the camera. And this is why I wanted to do these weekly vlogs is to film these moments because I want to look back at this in the future and be like, fuck me, Dom, I'm so proud of you for doing that. So I'm praying that this time I win this one. I'm manifesting it. I am winning that studio. Another thing that'll be amazing about the studio is finally having my bedroom back. I'll be able to move all this stock. There's literally over a thousand pieces of clothing right here. The rails, the shelving, everything will go in the studio. So I'll finally have my bedroom back. So there'll be a difference between work and my home life, which I think will definitely help like mental health wise because it's so hard to switch off here when you have all your stock surrounding you. Literally just that gassed about the studio that I can't even concentrate on my work. So I've just found out there is a kilo sale at the Manchester Union. So go check that out. Hopefully I'll then calm down and then come back and I'll get back to work. But hopefully we'll find some bits and the, the offer goes through for the studio and that'll be in March. I can't wait to get it. This is really looking promising. A 12 month contract. I'm gonna have to blur all of this. Payday vintage. I'm gonna get my deposit paid today. Honestly, life changing stuff. Oh my fucking god, less than a four hour turnaround. I've just paid the deposit, paid the application fee. I've now signed a 12 month contract for the studio. Honestly, the content is gonna level up massively. I'm gonna build a studio. I'm gonna do the whole pan things of building the studio, painting the studio. And then obviously I'll show you all behind the scenes of Payday Vintage. I'll have a place, like a stock room, like Alfie does down south in Norwich, which I've always wanted. Oh, mate, I'm actually speechless. This is one of the happiest times of my life, I reckon. 
it's like their next chapter like moving to manchester last year was obviously an insane chapter and then this is the thing i want to do next get a studio my own creative space and oh, mate there's just so many ideas going through my head i can build a studio i could do like product photography i'm thinking of making like because there's so many influencers in manchester and obviously instagram has turned to reels a lot of these people have no clue how to do videos i'm thinking of making my own little real studio so people can come down have like a nice rug plants sofa backdrop and then they just pay for like two hours max you can use it and i'll always be there so no one will rob me just a nice way to make some passive income i could do like graduation photos family portraits the possibilities are endless flat parties it's 24 7 mate i'm gassed i am so gassed thank you to every one of you for supporting this channel always for the past five years because without you i wouldn't have built up my business because obviously payday vintage came from payday pickups and then now moving to Manchester and then the studio, like, pfft. life's a roller coaster at the moment. The weather is actually banging today. Nice bit of golden sun. Look at it glistening on the Hilton. And then also these towers. Today's another day, another shoot. I'm shooting for Payday Vintage. I'm gonna shoot with a girl called Fran. Four different fits, four locations. Let's get it. I believe in war, I believe a woman's temple Gives her the right to choose, but baby don't abort I believe that marriage isn't Between a man and woman, but between love and love And I believe you when you say that You've lost all faith, but you must believe in something Something, something You gotta believe in something Cause I just don't believe we're wicked I know that we sin But I do believe we try We all try The girls try The boys try The women try The men try You and I Try Try We all try I don't believe in time travel I don't believe our nation Yes, people, so today I'm listing some more stock for Payday Vintage on Depop. I've got loads of Carhartt pants, Dickies pants, and Carhartt jackets. I had a Carhartt mystery box. By the time this vlog's uploaded, that will probably be uploaded too. There was 50 pieces in a big bale, and I'll just show you a few of the jeans. As you can see, super heavyweight denim. We have like the green, navy, beige. They all have super nice washes. And look at the quality on these. Like, this is why I love vintage denim. Look at these. This is a pair of denim Carhartt double knees. Obviously, double knees probably one of the most popular pairs of trousers this year. Look how sick they are. Paneling is amazing. Super nice wash, heavyweight, and they literally look brand new. This is why I prefer vintage denim. Like, look at these, they literally look brand new. They've got the custom leather patch, beautiful wash, super heavyweight and we literally sell these for only 25 pounds it's cheaper than buying obviously carhartt's brand new about 80 quid and cheaper than your cheap shit that you get from fast fashion brands shop vintage and then another amazing thing about vintage pairs of trousers is the vintage wash like look where like the fading's gone down all of the seams it's got that super nice like vintage wash it's got that kind of like mocha chocolate color so now i'm going to shoot some of the carhartt trousers on body here's a little backdrop you've got the plant just some greenery from some depth of field and also the new prints probably our best seller on episodes project if anyone wants any prints definitely go check it out i want you to be around for this here this year next year every little lunch break we've got my soup and we've also got look at this crusty baguette tiger bread oh the main reason why i start these weekly vlogs and it's basically showcase for the behind the scenes of my life and to try and inspire you all to hopefully one day like kind of work for yourselves like you don't understand how good it is working for yourself you get to choose your own hours and i just fucking love what i do so like clothes is my like main love and obviously i do my youtube and it works really well with the vintage because now i have clothes to wear and showcase on my youtube as well as sell and make a living from so basically while you're young and you have the least responsibilities you should take on board to try whatever your love is your passion and just go for it because you have a limited amount of risk least responsibilities and 
what is there to lose? If it doesn't work, then you can move on to the next thing. And when your work is something you love, it doesn't even feel like work. Like I could do this every single day. I can put on like a podcast and some of my own music. I have no one telling me what to do. And it's just so freeing. Like if I wanted to, I can just take a break, go into town, get a prep, go shopping. And having that like flexibility and working your own hours is just so freeing. Like you don't have to stick to the whole nine to five standard Monday to Friday. And that is why I want to showcase all the behind the scenes on this channel to try and motivate you all to eventually work for yourself. You also get loads of unique pairs. I've never seen this Carhartt Force. I'm not sure what range this was. A pair of cargo pants, but they've kind of got like this like checkerboard pattern. If you can see it there, and this nice kind of faded grey. If these were my size, I definitely would have kept them. Another cool feature of the old Carhartt is they have ones with this inner lining. This is a proper workers' pants for the winter. This denim is so warm. These literally weigh probably about a kilogram, these pair of denim. So today is the Remedy Valentine's shoot and meeting Cleo after this couple. Let's get into it. This is the second location, bathroom shots. Shock oh, awful, get that go. natural light, That's there we go. Better. look at you. Ooh. Wow, don't get too the close. Remedy. Give me a twirl. Rep in. Ooh. There we go. The new trim as well. Cool, it's looking fresh. Oh, look, <laughs> <laughs> look at that stain though. Oh, I know, that wasn't me. That was James being messy with his tiramisu. <laughs> <laughs> tiramisu? <laughs> his teriyaki. <laughs> his teriyaki. <laughs> 